Hi everyone, welcome. In this video, we will learn one of the most known problems in the literature, which is called the knapsack problem. But first, we will start with integer programming. Integer programming is a mathematical program where all the decision variables are restricted to be integers. Remember that in the previous video, we learned about the mixed integer linear programming model, and you can see that video using the link above. The canonical form of integer programs is the following. We have a maximization problem where the objective function is defined as C transpose X. Additionally, we have three constraints, which are A times X less than or equal to B, X greater than or equal to zero, and we have the integ integrality constraint. Binary integer programming is one of the types of integer programming where all the variables are restricted to be either zero or one. The knapsack problem is one of the instances of integer programming. The problem has a version of binary one, binary integer programming. It's a problem in combinatorial optimization. And the name knapsack problem dates back to the early works of the mathematician Tobias Danzig and refers to the commonplace problem of packing the most valuable or useful items without overloading the luggage. So we have been given a set of items, let's say n items, each with a weight w and a value v. We are trying to determine the number of items to pick so that the total weight is less than or equal to a given limit and the total value is as large as possible. We can illustrate this in the following figure. Suppose that we have a luggage that can take 15 kilograms at maximum and we have a bunch of boxes with different weights and values. The problem is that which boxes should be chosen to maximize the amount of value while keeping the overall weight under or equal to 15 kilogram. Let's have a look at the problem formulation. Given a set of n items numbered from 0 up to n minus 1, each with a weight wi and a value vi. Additionally, we have capacity C. So we want to maximize the total value of our luggage subject to its capacity. In the formulation, we have binary decision variables xi's, representing whether we add the corresponding item to the luggage. So we define the problem, which is maximization of uh, maximization of summation over i's, vi times xi, subject to summation over i's wi times xi should be less than or equal to c. And xi's are defined as binary variables. So we can move to the coding part now. We should first create the data. As in the figure, we have eight items. We will define two arrays where w shows the weights and v shows the values. And also we have the capacity of the luggage. So in step two, we need to import our mathematical optimization solver, GurbyPy. Then we will create a model instance called Knapsack. So in step four, we will add the decision variables to the model. Note that this time we will use model.addWars. This method makes our life easy and adds multiple decision variables at a time. So it's pretty similar to the addWar method, but this time we need to add the size of the decision, decision variables. So in our model, we have eight decision variables as we have eight items. We can use the variable n so that whenever we change our n or array v or w, we don't need to change this line again. After adding the decision variables to the model, we can define our objective function which is the summation of vi times xi for all i's. Again, we can use for loop inside the objective function for easiness. Before solving the model, we need to add our capacity constraint, which is the summation of wi times xi's over all i's. This needs to be 
less than or equal to the capacity C. So we are ready to solve our model. To eliminate the output, we use set param option. And after calling the optimize function, we will output the result by using the same code snippet that we have been using for many videos. As you see, the objective function value is 46, and we should get item 2, item 3, item 4, and item 5 in order to maximize the sum of values based on the capacity C, which was 15 kilograms. So you can change the input data and solve your own knapsack problem. Let us know if you have any questions by writing a comment below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next videos. Bye.